we gotta do this right. This is a 33 Rio with an automatic transmission. Yeah, auto and you were saying that uh, this was built by Rio themselves, the automatic. Yep. The that is pretty wild. Yep. Show me how the uh, automatic works. You depress the clutch and then you shift. That's first. Right. Neutral. Drive. Drive. Uh huh. Neutral. Reverse. Reverse. Wow. Now this has a clutch though. Well, when you start out, right. this is how you start out. Stick it in first gear and let the clutch out. Okay. Once you get going, stick it in drive. Don't touch the clutch no more. How many speeds? Two speed? Three speed. Three speed. Yep. Wow. Now is this a band transmission? No. Planetary? This transmission's a lot like your fluid drive. Okay. In your old Chrysler's. That's basically how it works. That is amazing. Yep. Three speeds, low gear, high gear, and reverse. Jeez, now I always thought that Olds had the first automatic. Yeah, well, this is Ransom Eli Olds. He, see, yes, he, but Rio was not part of General Motors when... No, but when Ransom Eli Olds retired, when he yes. stepped out of the Oldsmobile business yes. in 1904, he, he, he was started building these. Rio, correct, Ransom Eli Olds. his initials. Yes. And he built them all the way to 1936. Yes. Six was the last year. And then he got into the uh, real guy into the trucks. They kept the trucks going. Yes. Until like 1974. Something 75. like that. But Rio had nothing to do with GM. No. Uh, no. So that's why I'm saying with this, Oldsmobile had, as far as I knew, the first automatic. But it's interesting. What a tie-in here is oh, that yeah. uh, Rio had the uh, predated that. But actually, now it might be a discern. Uh, the difference is, is that the old transmission did not use a clutch. Well, that I'm not sure. Yeah, that one did I'm not, not use the sure clutch. It's getting away. But I know these only made a handful of them in '33. Uh huh. And then '34 they started advertising yeah. automatic transmission. Yeah, this was built in. You were saying November '33. November '33. Yep. Wow, and only uh, two are known to exist of the 800 built. Yep. Well, it's not even 800. It's, it was only a handful of them built uh -huh. with the automatic transmissions and, and the rumble seat. And the rumble seat. Oh, you start getting combinations. It, it, it's crazy. How much was this car new in 33? Do you know? I think they sold for about $1,200. So it wasn't actually that outrageous. It was a lot for the uh, Depression. I'm zooming back so I oh, could check. Oh, it was a lot. The check. $600. Oh, yeah. It was in the Buick range, though. So. Yeah, good idea. Open that door. <laughs> Otherwise, you might get locked out again. Yeah, we don't want that. What a beautiful, beautiful striking car. And what a story. It's interesting is that they only have one door which locks. Yeah, well, most all your old cars did. Yeah. But on the passenger side, very strange. Very strange. Yeah, figures. <laughs> Anything to give you a hard time. But you know, you're surrounded by friends here at the uh, uh, AACA summer meet. Uh, Easter, actually, it's the Easter meet in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. For more cool events like this, make sure you check northeastwheelsevents.com southeastwheelsevents.com, ukwheelsevents.com, and while you're there, post and share your events. I'll see you at the shows. I get a final of you over there. Nice sign out. Didn't know that I'd do the whole shtick, did you? Joseph, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.